Hello queens, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you guys my first wash and go of 2017 using three of my Holy Grail staple products. So let's get right into this tutorial. So this is freshly washed hair. It's damp, but as you guys will see throughout the video, I will be misting it to make sure it has enough water. So we're gonna start off by, of course, of course, moisturizing our scalp using some Jamaican black castor oil. And then you wanna massage that in. And then we're gonna start off by using the Eden Body Works All Natural Leave-In Conditioner from the Coconut Shea Collection. And this is the only leave-in that I use when doing a wash and go because it is just thick enough and it gives my hair that necessary hydration. It is very important when doing a wash and go to make sure that you have that moisture for your hair. Not necessarily for the definition, but you want to make sure that you are applying a very good leave-in. And then we're gonna detangle using my Texture Pro detangling brush. You guys know I'm obsessed with this thing right now. And then we're gonna start on a smaller section, just working in the leave-in conditioner again. So now we're just gonna use some regular castor oil. I picked this up from the Vitamin Shop. I will leave all the links to all the products listed below you guys in the description bar. And we're just gonna work that in. As you can see, that castor oil is heavy enough to where it already starts to give my hair that definition. So of course we're using my curl enhancing smoothie from um, Shea Moisture. And this is Holy Grail, this is Bay. This is my one stop shop for a wash and go. I just prefer my Shea Moisture Coconut Shea Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then you just go through and pretty much do the shingling method, just making sure that your hair is clumping up and giving the definition. And then you just scrunch up the ends to make sure that they curl back on themselves. So we're gonna lightly mist this section, you guys. Again, you wanna make sure that your hair is not necessarily soaking with water, but it does need to be damp. And as you can see, my hair starts to clump up again because it already has the leave-in conditioner on it. And then we're gonna go in with some more of the castor oil. So pretty much I'm doing the lot method. And then we're going to do the praying hand method. This is coined from Yolanda Renee. This is her technique and I've just been using it for almost two years. And then we're gonna go in again using some more of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And again, the main focus here when doing a wash and go is that one, you want to make sure that you're applying a decent amount of product. And then two, you want to make sure that it's actually applied on every single strand of hair. So again, we're gonna go through and just work the product on every strand of hair. And as you can see, it does begin to clump up. And then that's pretty much it. And that's how you do a wash and go. So you guys, we're just gonna keep going through the rest of my hair and then I'll be back shortly. So as you guys can see here, this is what my hair looks like after applying the products. It really does have a nice clump up of the actual product. So we're now gonna go in again with some more of the leave-in from Eden Body Works. And now we're on the other section on the back and we're just gonna work that in. Yeah, you just wanna really make sure that you work the product in you guys. You just don't want, want to let it sit on top of the hair. And you'll notice that my hair does look white, but that's from the products being layered on. But within 30 minutes or so, my hair was actually dried um, some, and so it didn't have that white product cast on top of it. And then we're gonna go in with some more of the castor oil. And then we're gonna go in with some more of the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Again, you guys, this is Bay. It smells so good, and it really does smell like hibiscus flowers, so that's another obsession with me using that product as well, besides the fact that it really does work. Um, I'm obsessed with the scent as well. It's just one of my favorite flowers. Of course, I love flowers. But anyways, back to the tutorial. You'll see here again, I'm going through and pretty much doing the shingling method where I go through and define each curl to just make sure that I get that definition that I'm looking for in my wash and go. All 
All right, so now we're moving on to the front and I wanted to show you guys the front versus the back because you can definitely see the two different hair textures that I have. Again, in the back is more of like a 3B, 4A kind of texture going on and then in the front is more like a type four. I don't even know what type in the category four it would actually be classified as, but I just class it as a type four because of how kinky and coily my hair is, if you can see. So we're gonna go through and we're doing the shingling method again. And remember you're applying a leave-in, an oil, and then some kind of styling cream or butter, whichever you prefer, or whichever product will actually work for your hair. So you guys, wash and goes is a trial and error process. Everyone um, and achieves their wash and go differently. And then we're gonna move on to the next section. And I definitely have to make sure that the front has some form of water to it, because if not, it will not sit properly as a wash and go. And then we're just gonna go in, I believe I used some more oil here, or it was either leave-in, it was one of the two. Yeah, cause see I'm still working it in. And that's very important, you just wanna make sure that every strand is coated with every single product. So that way you, it can definitely get the definition that you're looking for. And so that way it can coil back up on itself. So now, yeah, so now I am applying the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, that's what I just applied. And as you guys can see, my hair starts to actually clump up after applying the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then we're gonna go through once again and do the shingling method. I don't like to apply an excessive amount of product. I like to just apply enough so that way I can get the definition that I'm aiming for. And then if necessary, I'll go back through. And if I notice that I didn't apply enough, then I'll spritz it with water and then apply a little bit more of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. But for the most part, I very rarely have to do that. So as you guys can see, my hair is actually clumping up nicely in the front. All right, you guys, so this is what my hair looks like. Ah, I know it looks funny, but this is how it looks every time when I get done doing the wash and go technique. It just has a white cast, but look at the definition. Um, as you guys can see, my hair is very defined. Again, in the front, it's really gonna shrink up very tightly, and then in the back, it will shrink up somewhat, but it will still have its length to the back. So I just love doing a wash and go. It's simple, it's quick, and it's easy for maintaining throughout the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my kink and queens. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Thank you to all of my new subscribers for actually joining the new family that is constantly growing. If you have any questions, please list them down below you guys in the comments section. And as always, I love each and every one of you. See you in the next upload and be blessed.